Because of his work and close association with the members of the movement, it is said that he was given the title of Shepherd. In acknowledgement of such endorsement, when Mr. Siaga became Prime Minister in 1980, he hosted revival candlelight tables, both at Devon House and Jamaica House. <laughs> My viewers and subscribers, them giving you a warning. Better pay attention. Like father, like son. Wanna see how far it come from? Like and share up the video for me there. Please like and share up the video and share this. Make everybody see it. Did you know say revival table all kind of thing? Go on with all kind of animal up at Jamaica House. In a 1980, I mean, say the official residence. All kind of sitting and going up there. No wonder Jamaica stays so. Like and share the video and watch the video to the end because this is the video where you're going to learn. You're going to see where to start from or how far it has come from in the 19 how long. Watch a documentary, like and share the video to the end. You are going to learn from this documentary and type in the comments and tell me what you think. You be the judge. We now have nothing to say. Type and tell me. Revivalism is an Afro-Jamaican folk religion that emerged in Jamaica during the 1860s. The Most Honorable Edward Siaga, upon his return from undergrad studies in the United States of America, went to do research into the Afro-folk retentions in Buxton Town, St. Anne. Here he researched and documented numerous revival groups and their practices. Mr. Siaga felt that this indigenous art form exemplified the cultural ethos of the Jamaican spirit. On Wednesday, June 19, the revival movement in Jamaica hosted a revival candlelight table at the Tivoli Gardens Community Center. This event was mounted as a tribute to his contribution to enhancing the knowledge and visibility of revivalism as an Afro-Christian religious movement. We anticipated this kind of turnout. What we did not anticipate is the amount of groups that took part in the proceedings. We, we expected about 40, 45 the last count we had was about 65 churches from right across the country, as far as Westmoreland, Hanover, Clarendon, St. Mary. A tremendous turnout. It, it is an indication that the, the revival movement is still strong. And one of the things that is surprising to me is the amount of young people uh, that is involved in this. And I think it's a tremendous um, indication of what is to come, you know, and we are exceedingly happy. I think Mr. Seaga is feeling very proud of, of what has taken place. And, you know, I think it's a fitting way to say farewell to him. Because of his work and close association with the members of the movement, 
it is said that he was given the title of shepherd. In acknowledgement of such endorsement, when Mr. Siaga became Prime Minister in 1980, he hosted revival candlelight tables, both at Devon House and Jamaica House. Several churches from across the island have come together to celebrate the life of one they considered their own. I'm really happy to see the turnout that we have. It may be difficult for some people to understand and relate to it, but what is important to me is that we have fulfilled one of the things that Mr. Siaga would have loved for us to do. We have recognized his people and they have been given an opportunity to say goodbye. The table, or in revival language, the ward, consists of 89 candles. Each one represents each year of his life on earth. Tonight we are giving thanks for his life. You notice the table there with a candle. It present the years of his life. The 12 volumes of flowers, it was God and his disciple. All the drinks and things make me the people, and he said, and see the multitude, he went up into the mountain. When he was set, and his people had to come unto him, and he was hoping his mouth out, and blessed a pure in heart. Now, Mr. Siago was a pure in heart man. You couldn't take him in on the foolishness with revival. He knows it from the depth. He studied it from 12 Salt Lane until now. His dying day, he respect revival people. And this is why tonight the eternal is so huge because he make revival people know that they are serving a true and living God. So this is why we are here tonight to give thanks and praise for the life he live and the understanding that he given to us. May God ever rest his soul. Perpetual life shine upon him and gracious. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. There is a head table on which special candles for the family are placed and there is the body which is amply decorated with flowers and candles for the church family. Mr. Siaga is a gentleman who pay a lot of attention to the Revival Church, visit various celebration, convention, table. And a lot of people have the wrong concept about the Revival Table. It is just celebration. There's nothing about it that can harm you because I'm in it from I was about seven and I'm going 50 and climbing. This community, Tivoli Garden, I used to live down here. Then I moved up to Denham Town and I moved somewhere else, but I'm still here. I am rejoicing that a celebration like this could put on for Mr. Siaga. I know, you know that he wrote a book on revivalism and for that cause and reason, I am not ashamed. To Jamaica at large and the world, this church came here with our forefathers from Africa. And a lot of other church came out of this revival church. Because top members in other church was doctrinated from this church. So the revival is nothing that will hurt you. We light candles, we dance, we shout. And it's all about rejoicing, celebration. In honor of the shepherd, the bishops are robed and then enter into worship. And we're just totally overwhelmed by the outpouring of love that we've been receiving from people from all walks of life. It just really warms our heart to know that the nation is mourning with us. Thank you. Hello, I'm Andrew Siago. I'm also overwhelmed just by the outpouring of support. Every day I'm reading more and more about my father and how he's made Jamaica what it is today, how he shaped the country, the fabric of the country. And I'm really proud of him and I'm, I'm just pleased to be a Jamaican and to be part of this moment as well. The Most Honorable Edward Siaga will be laid to rest at the National Heroes Park in Kingston.
This is a revival mandate. I want to see the drilling of the bands. So out of confusion tonight, I want everyone to understand the significance of the revival faith. So on this table tonight, it's God, everything represent him. And his firmament show it is handiwork. Mr. Siaga's soul now receive the heavens, and we are rejoicing with him and his soul. I was only but a little lad. He could join me in to be white. Somebody works the Lord. Praise the Lord. The first day when I put in Chakamola, I was the one who ran it. Yes. And this was the song he asked me to sing. There is a race. God for the life at Edward Siaga for speaking for us for standing us at the revival kingdom I could not stay home tonight because of the contribution that this man have given unto us and we are saying thanks to him at the revival kingdom we love you in Jesus name he's a hero in the revival field man like Edward Siaga he built the revival field because I remember when I was young, I used to come at this place where you used to keep his table. So we are doing the best tonight. Most of Jamaicans, we include myself, we didn't really know who Mr. Siaga was. All we see Mr. Siaga as leader of the Jamaica Labour Party, my Labour right, and the Labour right leader. No, it is way beyond that. He was a fighter and a struggler of this faith. significance of the table as you look at the table you see water you see flowers you see light you see grains all of this is what make up the element without water it's problem without the flowers trouble without the light to see your path then goes more trouble so as we travel through this um, journey based on the the, the revival faith, we need the light, we need the flowers, we need the water, we need the candle, we need everything that is laid on the table to meet our spirit, our ancestors that is gone before. But our belief here is that when we make these offerings, then the soul of Mr. Siaga indeed will receive it for liberation again. So when the soul come back, the soul need water, clothing, flowers, and some coins, all that it take to live when it was here, we believe that the soul in reincarnation will be back again. So he will need all of this. So this is what this table is all about tonight. And tonight is really his night in the sense that we give back to him what he given to us when he was on earth. Revivalist is not about over. Revivalist is revived from dead work and to righteousness. That is just the way all oh, we worship. But we worship the true and living God. We are not over. But we are reviving from dead work. And to righteousness, somebody worship the Lord. Righteousness, the 
There is no nigamancy here. It is natural. If you go to the Hindu temple tomorrow, Sunday by Hagley Park Road, uh, you would see a pundit there, uh, Johnson. He will have all these emblems, the water, the flowers, the sendur, the, 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 the samagri, everything will be there. Uh, in, in the Indian, uh, uh, there's an Indian religious song, an Hindu religious song rather. It says, Bajumana Sita, Bajumana Rama, Bajumana Chanda. God is everything. God is the wind. God is the, uh, the life, the breath we breathe, the water we drink. So on this table tonight, it's God. Everything represents him. All of this is just one. It is you and I who is confused. So out of confusion tonight, I want everyone to understand the significance of the revival faith is from dead works to righteousness. Dead works mean things that is not good, things that is fearful, because we have no fear. I pray that this debt will pull all party together and all religion together so you see me as someone like I see you as someone. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, there you have it. I say it already like father, like son. Father, big revival of your man till I'm all game tight class shepherd. Light up candle, grapefruit, cream soda, all kind of highland powder hand down the cloth. That is why Jamaica is under this spell. Because the leaders from the get-go plant the root and the tree grew up. I would say the current leader bear the fruits, so Jamaica has to cut it down. Because this revival demonic order with them under, it's not good for Jamaica. It's not right for Jamaica. And if you care about Jamaica, you want the best for Jamaica. You have a duty. Share this video. May people see the video. May people hear the video. And know. So them not good. And they said, by your fruits, you shall know them. I will see them fruits and them fruits that look good. So my viewers and subscribers, please remember to like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit notification bell. Till next time.